Hello, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Weasel, and today we're playing Democracy Free, where we play as a religious, gun-crazy, warmongering dictator. At least we're trying to. We're going to try to play as a crazy person. We're trying to assume direct control over a country, and this country is going to be friggin' Canada. Yes, Canada. We're going to make Canada even crazier than the USA. You better believe it. You better believe it. We're just gonna jump right into the game, and our party name is, as usual, the Weasel Zone. And the big challenge with this playthrough will be to not be killed by my people. And we need a good name for the opposition's party name, and we're gonna call it the Newfies. Or something along those lines. No, 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 we're not risking that. We're gonna call it the... Um... The Nice Guys, because we're totally not nice. You know, the Nice Guys. That would be a really bad party name, to be honest, you know. The nice guys. Okay, no limit, that's all good. We're gonna just jump right into it and see how things go. I actually started recording and then it crashed because I had too many mods installed. So, hope this works out now. And, uh, yeah. Still looking shitty. Canada is still struggling. A lot of crime. Low GDP, high unemployment, health. Eh, played worse. And the poverty. So, but education is good. That's something. And that makes me happy to see that. Um, okay. So, again, same strategy. We are going to increase the alcohol tax because we have an alcohol abuse problem. And we're going to addict a, well, or start the, what is it called? Alcohol uh, awareness program. Where would that be? Uh, public services, I guess. Public. Mm. Uh, I don't know, but we also want to boost the GDP, so we are going to uh, give small business a grant, a grant. Actually, business startup campaigns, that's what I want to implement. Are you kidding me? That's that's the one. We're going to uh, pump money into business startups, hoping that will boost the GDP in the long run. Things like that, because the GDP, that's that's my main goal. Boosting the GDP so we have all that money to buy awesome things like drones and, you know, like, pay for the military that we need. Because the thing is, if I just go mental here and uh, just start crazy policies, people will get upset and they might even kill me. That's the thing. They will kill me. So I have to make sure that I have my own personal militia and all those other things in place before I really go batshit insane and make them really upset. But we're still gonna make them upset, don't worry. We're going to raise the alcohol tax to 75 friggin' percent. Apply, yes, 75 percent. That should help out with the alcohol abuse. Should help out. Should definitely help out. And let's have a quick look at the policies, what we could additionally implement. Um, yeah, the alcohol awareness campaign. Definitely going to do that because it can be dangerous, even in moderation, to raise awareness of that. This campaign will show all the trouble that alcohol can get you into. From ruined friendships, oh yeah, over accidents, and addiction to sickness and death. Certainly not a happy talk topic. But it's always better to have your mood dampened a little now and stay sober than to suffer big time later. Absolutely agree. So, pumping 100 million into that per year. And, oh, I still have a lot of capital left. I still could do something. Okay, we upset people here right now by increasing the alcohol tax. We're gonna do the same with smoking, but not now. Um, we're probably going to do something that will help boost the GDP or make people happy. Um, for now, I'm probably going to go with something that boosts the GDP. For example, like the Trade Council, um, which will help um, boost our economy because the Trade Council will uh, help our, well, trade partners and our companies to trade better. So we're gonna implement that and as you can see, it only has a positive effect. It pretty much improves international trade and foreign relations and it's really not that inch, uh, that expensive. It's 140 million, so I would always um, throw that in. And, all right. Oh, we still have a lot of capital. We can do so many things. That's great. We can also save up some capital, but we don't need that. Because for the really expensive things like national service, we need a lot of capital. Or, you know, uh, compulsory work for the unemployed. 
or what else is there. Uh, let's have a look at... Um, yeah. Secret courts, ban homosexuality, ban divorce. Yeah, those are things that we're going to implement. Um, I'm going to be the worst person ever. We're going to be really extreme in that direction. I've been so... I've been doing some really good playthroughs, like, with the UK. Like, that was friggin' utopia. But now? No, no more. We're going to be batshit insane here. Uh, but it's going to be nice living there, you know, you're gonna be afraid for your life and you're going to be afraid to talk about the government at all because we're spying on you, but you're still gonna think, well, you know, at least the pollution is down, the GDP is going well, you know. Pretty much like that. At least I'm going to try that. Not even sure if that's possible. Anyway, I was about to uh, implement a few other things to improve the GDP. Oh, yeah, the Young Entrepreneur Scheme. That's a good thing. Helps young people who are aiming to become businessmen in the future. Giving them the opportunities to learn from veterans. Definitely doing that. Again, not very expensive. And uh, helps boost the youth, which is always tricky, especially if you are making alcohol expensive. And capitalist, which we will upset a lot. Definitely. So we're gonna apply the changes. And, yeah, I'm gonna keep those for capital using for the next one, and we're just gonna see what happens now. I also have to really make sure that I'm not getting killed. That would be really great. Alright, so this is our quarterly report. For everyone who doesn't know, this is pretty much what I get. It's like a quick overview of the status quo and what changed. And well, we're gonna go through that one by one. Poverty went up. Not good. Uh, nothing changed here. That didn't affect much, we didn't do much yet. Also, it takes a few turns for policies to kick in and to be in effect. And I just realized that my Steam overlay is open. I should probably disable that, if possible. Come here, you all friends, and be offline. There we go. I always forget that. All right, so, uh, debt protection law. There's an urgent policy question that requires your immediate attention. Uh, what would that be? Debt protection law. Oh yeah, right, the debt collection agencies. That's that's like the first thing that pops up on every playthrough. Uh, pretty much like they like give you money and then they break your fingers if you don't pay them back. And we're gonna limit these activities. We are the ones that terrorize our citizens, not you. So, um, the government is not very popular. Only 9% of people intend to vote for me. How did I get, like, those votes anywhere, you know? Um, yeah, value below 50% at the election indicates failure at the end of the game. Not cool? Not cool. So we have to do a few things to make people happy so they vote us. We have to, well, lure them into voting for us. And we're gonna do that by giving them a few things that are, I guess, nice. Considered, like, good. Um, something that's popular with voters, like the Welfare Fraud Department. That's also a good thing. It will reduce um, costs. In this case, it might cost a lot of money, but it might also bring us an income. So it's pretty much for free. Um, so we're going to implement that one. I think it takes four turns. Oh, no, three turns to implement. Then you see it over here. There it shows. Um, undercover investigation. Yeah, that's fine. See... Uh, if we go over a certain threshold, we actually make money. People are gonna like it a lot. Poor people are not going to be happy about this. But conservatives and middle-income people are going to be happy about it. So that's good. We're gonna implement that. And... Okay, more things that are popular with people. Hmm. What would that be? Oh yeah, luxury goods tax. Definitely. If you're buying a yacht, you're gonna have to pay. You're going to have to pay with your yacht for my police state. That's how we're doing it. That's how we're doing it. We're gonna implement that, absolutely. Uh, maybe not 90%, that's a little bit much. 70% feels like a good rate, or 50. Let's have a look. High earnings, uh, go down. Capitalists won't like it. The wealthy people won't like it. Screw the wealthy, for now. Actually, cancel the policy. Wait, have I implemented it already? Not too sure. Oh yeah, right, right, I already implemented it. You know, we kind of need the wealthy to be, um, to fund us. Screw the poor. But, ah, eh, whatever. We're doing this. This is fine. We, because we need some money as well. 
Um, and it's popular with the voters. So, what else do we have? Plastic, mm -hmm, not popular, not popular, not popular. What else is popular? Rent controls. Oh, food stamps. Food stamps make people happy. Um, I think food stamps are a great thing in a way, but rent controls. Oh, our first step to controlling our citizens in their lives by controlling the rents. That's great. Um, yeah, we're gonna implement that. Let's do that. Uh, high control, there we go. Alrighty then, we're gonna jump into the next one and see how popular we got with our voters. I don't, I can't do much now. Let's have a quick look at the intelligence briefing. Our security effectiveness is poor. That's also something we gotta have to take care of. But for now, there's not a big threat. The threat assessment, it says it's fine. We don't have problems here. We're not getting killed or anything for now. So, But sometimes they come out of nowhere. You just think everything is going dandy and then BAM! You've been assassinated. I guess that's like how it works in real life. Ah, alright. Um, urgent policy question that requires your immediate attention. A senior judge. Alright. One of our most senior respected judges has died and we need to make a choice. Uh, Samuel Miller, a strong supporter of human rights, making many landmark rulings in favor of individual rights and liberties. Uh, no. Olivia Cote is a household name thanks to her famous ruling concerning violent crimes and her often outspoken views on the harsh sentences that she feels should be applied to the thieves, muggers and shoplifters. Oh yes, we want someone extreme sitting as a senior judge. Definitely. Human rights. Ha! <laughs> okay. How's the GDP doing, by the way? Oh, look at that. We went up. People do like our decisions. Yes! Yes! We will lure them into voting for us and then we will have a full another term. Okay. So we should do something shitty and something that makes them happy, you know? Like increase the tobacco tax, but give them something else in return that, and that after all helps us. But, um, the alcohol abuse is going down. This is going to, you know, reduce the problems automatically. And health should go up automatically because of that, yeah. Because alcohol abuse is uh, a problem here with that. Okay. Crime. We gotta uh, kind of have to make sure that we get organized crime down. Uh, gambling. Is gambling enabled? We have gambling enabled. Uh, no, we are going to. We should. Uh, limited stakes. How can we? Can we? You know, like like just get rid of gambling after all. Um, organized crime really loves it. The GDP goes up a little bit. Religious people don't like it. We gotta we gotta cater to our religious friends because they're really not happy. Oh, we have the abortion law in place. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's... Yeah, that's not making them happy. Yeah, we're, we're totally banning that. We're totally banning that. Maybe... God, God, that's so expensive to do. And I feel so bad doing this, but I'm playing a crazy religious gun nut. Trying to achieve all to total control. We're totally banning it, so we make more babies. For our army that we're building up. Oh god, this... I already know people are going to watch this thing because I didn't, you know, set something in the beginning. I'm going to watch this and think I'm a crazy person. Oh god. Yeah. Totally ban abortions. We're not having any of that. Religious people will dance and will cheer in the streets and will pray to their based god. It's going to be great. It's going to be great. Okay, um, so that will make a few people unhappy as well. So let's, 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 you know, let's make it not as bad and implement food stamps, you know? Voters, I think that's super popular, it's super great. Um, yeah. Oh yeah, food stamps. What I like about food stamps, unlike giving away straight cash benefit, food stamps can only be redeemed for uncooked food, preventing them from being used for unhealthy takeaway food. That's kind of cool as well, and nobody has to go hungry. Because you can have have your food stamps. I mean, people still will trade them, which kind of sucks, but yeah. We're gonna put all the money into food stamps. Okay, so yeah, how are things looking with our cabinet? Okay, I guess. They're not super annoyed. That's good. Um, and will I implement something else? Nah, I'm gonna keep those eight capital for the next. And we're gonna jump. 
Okay. Ooh, shit! What? Armed religious communities. Are you shitting me? Canada! Canada, get your... Why, Canada? Why are you having armed religious communities? Ugh. Anyway, our poll goes up. 29% of the people would vote for me. That's something. We need to go over 50%, though. Superhero uh, reduces crime and violent crime. Because news stations are buzzing with reports that a caped man has been seen fighting crimes in our city. Was well, just a drunk person. Well, it's kind of cute, I guess. Okay. Uh, economic forecast, good news. The global economy is doing well. This is going to have a positive effect on our GDP. Good, good, good. Um, the loyalty can be described as loyal. Their effectiveness is generally just considered as passable. As long as they're loyal, I'm fine. If they're not loyal, we're gonna, you know, get rid of them. Um, the Human Rights Society has been criticizing government policy on the radio. Oh yeah, we're going the right direction here, people. We're going in the right direction. Okay. So, apparently now, we have armed religious communities. Um, why? Some religious communities all over the country have begun to arm themselves and take justice into their own hands. Because they're unhappy, I assume, and we have guns. Great. See, this is what happens when you freaking give guns to everyone. We will not have guns in our country. I mean, by people. We will have a very strong military. By the way, let's have a look at the military. We could spend more on the military, I feel, you know, like overwhelming force. Um, that costs a little bit of money. But we also have to make sure that we are not getting killed. Oh, look at that. The religious people are super happy about that. Ooh, prostitution is legal. No, 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 we're not doing that. Um, legalize maximum. It's, it's at none, but they're still super unhappy, so that's interesting. Um, well, we're going to completely scrap this policy. Uh, how much is that? Cancel 25 capital. Wow, okay, so, um, these armed camps should go away, uh, soon. So that's a good thing. Um... Yeah, we're not touching that because it's 25. That's a little bit much. We made him a little bit happier. <sighs> Organized crime. What can we do about that? Because of gambling. Yeah. We can't scrap gambling because it's at th it costs us 30 free capital. So we're going to maybe keep something. But let's have a look. We have a deficit of 6.45 billion. So let's do something to boost the GDP. And also make sure that our people are... I would say educated, but kind of don't want to educate my people so they have no idea what's going on, you know? That's that's a dilemma. That's a dilemma. I kind of want, you know, to do that. <sighs> tricky, 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 tricky. What's that? Maternity leave? Oh, yeah, definitely. We're definitely, you know, full pay. If you're pregnant with our uh, soldier babies, then you are going to get paid. That's how we, that's how we do in Canada, land of the crazy. Okay. Let's have a look at policies. I don't feel like touching any of that. Um, though I can't... You know what? We could... Oh yeah! Tobacco tax! Yes! Yes! 75%! We're gonna do that. We're gonna implement the really high tobacco tax to make our people healthier again. I want, I want healthy, strong soldiers, you know? And people that live long and, you know, are healthy. Okay. Um, I don't have any capital anymore because that was really expensive, but we're just gonna see how things are turning out here Making some progress and Oh, yes vigilante mobs. There are no longer vigilante mobs on our streets and people are trusting the authorities to enforce law and order again We're still going to bring more police forces on the streets and Into our palace, which we will hopefully erect. I can't erect a palace in democracy free Which makes me sad, but we still can you know increase police presence um, 27, 27% would vote for me in the next election. Um, let's have a look at that. Oh. Gonna make people a little bit more happy. Um, wait, where's, where's the report? Is that a report? Yeah, okay. Just a small deficit. We're doing okay. We're doing okay there. The GDP's doing well. Crime is going down. Look at how crime is, like, shooting down. We're fighting crime, pro like, professionals. 
Ban same-sex marriage. Until recently, this hasn't been an issue. Marriage has been straightforward issue and ceremony reserved for heterosexual couples, but increasingly the more liberal ministers have been carrying out same-sex marriages. Should we ban this at a constitutional level? Ban it! It's crazy to allow this travesty of a religious cer uh, ceremony to take place. Yeah, we're gonna ban that. Bad, 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 bad. Because those couples don't make babies and we need babies for our army. <sighs> I will really put a disclaimer in front of this video. Like, this is not serious. Because <laughs> I really worry, to be honest. But, uh, okay, we're going to, we're not dead yet. And we might even be able to make people vote for us. Like, we only have passed one of five years. So, um, this is our first year and we're doing okay. The deficit is not as high as anymore. Crime goes down. And, um, yeah, pe more people would vote for us. We still have to work on that. But we're going to be very successful about that, I'm pretty sure. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, leave a like. And I hope to see you guys in the next one. I'm Weasel, I'm out, and I hope to see you! around. Bye-bye!